Look at my massive tool. So I just went and picked this uh, milling machine up yesterday. And this, this came from the same workshop that my lathe came from. And these have both been sat in the back of like a fabrication workshop, just not being used. And um, Rob from CNC Plasma basically got me an absolute bargain deal on this, exactly the same as he got me a bargain deal on the lathe. So I don't really know too much about this other than it's uh, big and heavy. Uh, it's different to the miller machine that I've used in the past, which was like very similar to a Bridgeport style. This is um, kind of different. It, the, the whole bed of this thing can tilt um, and the head the whole top of the machine moves back and forward rather than the bed moving in and out and then you've basically got like you're up and down sideways and then this is the top slide sliding forward everything is power fed as well and you've got your speeds uh, spindle speed up here feeds down here and uh, it's all really nicely made it's like made in China but I, I have no idea how uh, old it is um, I was looking through the manual to see it try and find out how old it is but I couldn't really find anything but it's all covered in the horrible grime uh, that was all over the lathe but the lathe's all nice and clean now I spent probably 8 million hours scrubbing non-stop on this to get all this stuff off I borrowed some industrial like degreaser off a friend of mine that was like burn your eyeballs acid stuff and that got it off so I'll probably do the same on this thing but Oh, it's all in metric as well, which is nice. Uh, it's got DRA on it. So first thing to do is going to be um, wire it up and... Uh, oh no, sorry, the first thing I've got to do is work out how I'm going to get it off this pallet. And this thing weighs a ton literally and I need to lift it off the pallet and all I have here is some pallet trucks a jack an engine hoist that's already bent that won't carry anywhere near the weight of that so I'm going to have a ponder for a minute and see if I can work anything out the other thing that's obviously different about this thing in comparison to um, like the Bridgeport style of mill is that there's no, no, your controls are all on the side of it, which is a bit weird. Um, had a bit of a uh, hectic time just picking this thing up due to the uh, size of it and the weight of it. And um, yeah, it was an in interesting journey to say the least. And I met also I met Trev from Trev's, Trev's blog. Uh, he was up there, so it was good to, um, good to meet him, but it was all a bit rushed and hectic, so look forward to doing like a, an actual video with Trev and trying to meet up and get together and do a bit of a like collaboration type thing in the future. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just have a think for a minute about how I can maybe get this thing off the pallet. I've even got an operation manual. Kunming mirroring machine. It seems like uh, whenever this was made, however long ago, in uh, 81,026, they uh, were able to translate much better back then.
I need to look through here, find out what oil it needs and uh, so it's pretty cool, I've got loads of uh, tooling with it as well. I've got a mechanically driven record player with it and another smaller one, I think this one's been dropped, looks like the uh, wheel's bent on it and it's jammed up but I've been looking for one of these to make a uh, welding, rotary welding table with. Um, so if that one is damaged, I might use that for that. Got all these different things for it. Got a load of different clamping um, bits and bobs for it as well. Loads of tooling. And then loads of cutting stuff. So I've had an idea for um, getting this off of here, so I think I'm going to smash a couple of these slats out of the way, um, stick the pallet trucks under there so I've got a gap through it, and then pump the pallet truck up so that the, and then saw the pallet up. We're down on the floor. Doing it like that was kind of sketchy, so I wouldn't recommend anyone do it that way unless you are a sketch master like myself. But we're down on the floor. So now I can uh, clear up all this mess, wire it in, and uh, see if it works. Got a nice new armored cable. All wired into that. Need to plug the uh,
DROs are working. So this should. Oh. Something's clicking. So you just got forward and reverse. So it's like we've got the wire in the right way around. I gave this a bit of a clean just to see what she's going to look like. I think I might turn everything around so all the switching's on this side rather than having stuff from the front and stuff from the side. Um, so. That's feeding our head across. Feeding back again. Turn on. Feed up a bit. See that coming up now?
There's no ridges or anything in it, which means it's, which means all the bed and everything is still nice and flat. After we've moved it. Alright, so it's making a bit of a funny sort of rattly noise um, when it initially first starts to cut on here. So I want to make sure that it's got oil in this top bit. I'm going to have a read through the manual and see how full this should be. Just can't actually see anything down in there, but I'm not sure whether that rattle is from the tool or all the tips are tight. Um, so I'm not going to cut anything else or do anything else on it until I've worked out what that is. The other thing, it's got a load of these rods um, which are just a, a piece of threaded bar. These aren't a very good fit into the... So this I think is the original, but because it's the only one that actually has a really good fit, but it doesn't seem to be long enough to uh, actually secure these in. So whether that's uh, whether that's been snapped off or something, and that's why those other ones have been made up, I'm not sure. So um, I could remake that. It might be a nice little project. But um, yeah, just going to check the oil, give it all a good clean, and I've got a uh, an idea for like a first little project on it, which I'll probably try and do in the next few weeks. That's going to be it for this video. If anyone's got any information on um, this type of machine, uh, I'd love to know the age of it, if anyone's got any idea of how old it might be. And yeah, thanks again Rob for uh, finding me this, and thanks Dave for trekking up there to help me haul this thing home. That's going to be it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.